Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, it's my first video for 2019. I know, it took a little bit of time to get in, but you know, it is what it is. It's the 21st, I still had uh, a few more days in the month left. I'm looking at my calendar um, right now, actually. And uh, you know what, whatever, I'm getting started sometime, right? So for 2019, what I wanted to start off with was another unboxing. A few months ago, I ordered a brand new glove um off of amazon of course because amazon's got the cheaper stuff right now but it's a pretty nice glove i've shown it to you guys on instagram before and uh, i'm ready to open it it's been at my apartment for a couple months now you know i just haven't opened it i had my girl open it to make sure it was a glove but then i had to reseal it so i can you know do this video for you guys so you're welcome so i got this box that's gonna be right here boom hey and uh you know again i've had it sitting around and i just been itching to open it so i'm finally gonna get to it so here we go now before i open the box i did order a mizuno first baseman's glove but to be honest i don't know what kind of glove it is i looked it up on um, my recent purchases and it says this the mvp uh, prime something or another uh to be honest i don't really know i just buy gloves and i use them if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't you know but anywho here we go i got my knife kids do not play with knives at home it's not safe, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use it right now, okay? So let's go. Got the knife inserted. Gonna open it up. There's another side. There we go. Of course, we got the bubble wrap, which to my surprise, it's only these two for this big old box, so. Yeah, whatever, that's not important, but. Here's the piece of resistance of the glove. Oh, shoot. Wow. We don't need that anymore. Wow, look at this. Hold on, let me move this box out of the way. Look at this. That's pretty dope. It's got the Mizuno logo on it. It's got the nice black stitching on the white leather. And let's see what kind of glove it says it is. It's the GXF 50 FPWRG. Now, I'm assuming this might be a fast pitch softball glove, but you know, fast pitch, slow pitch, it doesn't matter. As long as it catches the ball, we're good. Again, here's the Mizuno writing in gold. And again, here's a little better close up of the logo right there. It's also in gold. And it is the MVP Prime. So, as you can see here, it's got the logo in the center. But just look at the stitching on this, man. Like, if you look at the webbing, look at the stitching, the gold stitching with the black lacing, the white leather, the velcro which this is very important for myself the velcro is a very important piece except especially for people like me who are a little bit bigger a little bit chunkier you know we live that go to the life um my hands are a little bit thicker so anytime i can have that velcro to loosen up so i can get my hand in the glove and then tighten it for security it's a plus and you know word of advice to all you uh glove companies out there invest in the velcro straps for your gloves because it'll make big people's lives a lot Trust me, if I want to spend top dollar for a glove like I did with this one, I want to make sure it can fit and adjust to my hand. Now, aside from the looks of the glove, it feels good. Very, very stiff so far. So I haven't really, you know, had it on my hand for that long. The stiffest part is actually in the thumb where it feels the most tightest. Um, but I think I can loosen that up right here with the lacings. Um, but it feels like it's a good glove. It's a 13 inch glove. So I like 13 inch, I like bigger gloves, especially when it comes to scooping and having to reach out for the ball. And those big softballs, I mean, the slow pitch, they're kind of big. So it's a little bit easier to get into the webbing and make sure the ball is in there. It's a good glove, it's a nice glove. It's stiff so far, so I'm excited to break it in. But let me give you a little show on how I'm gonna break this in. So what I have here is a ball mallet. This, you can purchase on Amazon, you can find it on eBay. You can make your own actually. Um, it's not that hard, you just drill out the center of a ball. Um, put a, like a handle on it, glue it, screw it in, whatever you want, and it's that simple. Um, but again, ball mallet, it helps shape the glove. So you know how when the ball goes in here, you want to get that shape going, just pound it, you know, get that shape going, get the leather loose, or, you know, outside of this, just stretch it out like any other glove. But it's a little harder with the first base glove because it's really thick right here on the edges. Um, so it's kind of harder to stretch out, but for sure the ball mallet is what's going to 
help me uh, break this in. So aside from that, I'm excited to test it out. I'm excited to wear it, you know, use it. Hopefully you'll see me use it sometime soon. And uh, hopefully I'll get it on video, you know? I'm excited about this, you know? This is the first top of the line glove that I've really had, um, actually ever. I always buy the cheaper gloves, but I'm excited to have a really, really good glove. So Mizuno, thank you for the glove. It looks like you have a good product here. I'm excited to try it out and uh, yeah, let's hoof it. Out to the field we go. But before we go to the field, make sure you click like on this video if you like this video. Um, hit subscribe to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Hit the bell icon to make sure you get the notifications when I do post a new video. It's not often, but hey, I do it. And uh, you know, leave me a comment down below. What else do you wanna see in these videos as far as you know, softball or anything else? I just got a request for another what's in your bag video. So I'm willing to do it. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you guys would like to see from a year ago. I did it a year ago to now. I have a lot more in my bag. So if I wanna, or if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below. I'll also put up a poll on my Instagram when this video goes up. Let me know. You wanna see what's in my bag now? Yeah, after a year after I've done it already? Let me know for sure, and I'll do it for you. But like I said, comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, as for now, this video is over. It wasn't an adventure, but for me it was because I opened up the new glove. So like I said earlier, let's hope it, let's go to the field. I'm gonna head out now. I gotta put on my knee brace first because my knee's still a little bit jacked up, but that's besides the point. So I'm gonna go head out now, try the glove, and we'll see you in the next video. Deuces.